Okay, so I just found some video capture software that I think is really good. What I did to find it was I went over to Windows Marketplace and searched for screen capture video, sorted the hits by the highest rated, and then clicked on the first one I saw. So it's called AVI Screen Classic by Bobite Software, and it's free. Um, it's a bit old. It was this latest version was published sometime in 2005, and uh, for that reason, I did have to um, do a little bit of compatibility stuff. But as you can see, it's really smooth, uh, and I haven't seen that with any other um, screen capture software. How smooth it is! Uh, you can really see the you know the smoothness of this animation. Or if I play this this HD video. And uh, you can see how um, how it gets almost every frame. One thing I don't like about it, though, is that it doesn't capture audio, which is why I have this window open and I'm recording a video that I can overlay. Another thing, though, uh, that I don't like about it is that it takes it seems to take up a lot of system resources. Uh, I turned up the frame rate from 4 pictures frames per second to 29 uh, to get the smoothness and uh, it, it has the effect of not letting me double click stuff. Although, <laughs> right now it did work. Previously, when I tried to double click on something, uh, it was as if I only did a single click. Um, yeah, see there we go. See I'm double clicking and it, it doesn't doesn't register. So I have to right click and you know, do that. Uh, but the most important thing with the screen capture software is how smooth it is, and this is really smooth. That's why I like it. <laughs> Although, here's another thing, is that it doesn't compress the uh, files, so I, I am sure that this short screen capture will be at least a gigabyte. Although, I'll, I'll put the file size at the end, just so you know. But what I'll do is I'll take the file and I'll put it into Windows Media Player, mm, I'm sorry, Windows uh, Movie Maker, and then save that as a WMV file uh, to compress it. And uh, that's also where I'll mix the audio from this video recording uh, with the screen capture video. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's, it's really good. Uh, if you want to do some screen capture in um, Windows XP or Windows Vista, um, it's the way to go. Though, uh, what I had to do to fix something is I had to go to Start and I had to right click on the um, file and, and click Run in as, as Administrator to uh, get it to work properly because it, it, it is pretty old. Um, that's it. Here I have the first file, which is the video I took with my webcam, of me. The second file, which is 2.7 gigabytes, is the screen capture file, uh, the uncompressed one. And I put the two files together in Windows Media Player to make a 17.1 megabyte file. So here's the first screen of AVI screen, and you can choose the basic stuff that if you want to follow the cursor and all that. In the second tab, you can uh, mess with shortcuts, which is pretty nice, I think. In the video, you can choose the video compression, although they, if you compress these with this program, it doesn't work very well. And I changed the frame right here to 29 from 4. Here you can choose the picture formats for its uh, still, picture, thinger, material, but I don't use that. And here you can choose the folder you want to save the files to. I just actually changed the folder to my uh, videos folder instead.